Welcome to Court Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of court cutting and give you my opinion on them. Today, we're going to be covering stories like there's a brand new free streaming service from TCL that includes over 200 live channels and over 15,000 movies and TV episodes with it. YouTube TV has a crazy cheap NFL Sunday ticket deal out there. We'll take a look at that. Max is adding even more um, news here with a partnership with CNN. It's a little complicated, it's not live CNN news. And then there's a ton of T-Mobile news and Walmart news coming up that we're gonna talk about here in a second, all related to cord cutting. So with that said, let's um, take a look at the story. So if you want to, read them for yourself and come up with your own opinion before I dive into it. Check out the show notes down below and the first pinned comment. Can't forget that. To take a look at all the stories there, read them for yourself and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these stories. If you're new here or you've been here a while, Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of cable TV. So let's start off today with TCL launching a new service called TCL TV Plus, all one word, smushed together, TCL TV Plus. It's available on uh, TCL TVs, I'll talk about all the models in a second, but comes with over 200 live channels and over 1,500 on-demand movies and television shows with that. They say they've partnered with Universal, Scripps, FilmRise, and more to bring content, and they'll bring new content every week. Though it may not necessarily be new live channels every week, it could be new on-demand content every week with this. And it's one more way. Now, TCL is following kind of the steps of Samsung and LG. They both had exclusive free streaming services for their TVs. TCL says this will launch on their Google TV edition TVs um, now, and will come to Roku Smart TVs and Fire TV Smart TVs from TCL later this year. No announcement on timeline for that. But huge collection of content here um, in one spot. I love free services. I always say it doesn't cost you anything to have multiple free services. If you ever look at my backgrounds, you probably see a ton of them. Check it out, TCL. It's a pretty nice slide up here. They've actually had a free service for a while. They're rebranding, relaunching, making this a lot larger, a lot nicer. We'll see how it all plays out. But TCL, a lot more content coming here. Again, Google TVs now from TCL available on Roku and Fire TVs at a later date from TCL. No word on this being available on other devices, non-TCL-owned TVs. You will need to go download it when it becomes available. I don't believe it will auto-install. You'll find it in the app stores on your favorite TVs. All right, YouTube TV yesterday announced the pricing for NFL Sunday Ticket Student Edition, and it's crazy good. You can get NFL Sunday Ticket for just $109 a season as a student, and NFL Red Zone added for just $10 more a season. Really good pricing on that. Now you have to verify your student. Sorry. Sorry everybody was like, hey, what's the cheapest course out there I can get? Um, it's a pretty good deal out there for students. Likely they want you to subscribe now, get hooked to it, so when you get older, have a job, you'll keep paying for NFL Sunday Ticket. But check it out, link in the show notes down below. If you are a student and you want to take advantage of this, you can do it. Now, Google told us if you'd already subscribed to NFL Sunday Ticket and you qualify for this, to contact support about switching over to this. They said that at this time they didn't have details about exactly how that would work, but you should be able to just switch to um, the student plan and maybe get a credit or a refund. I don't know how they'll do it, but ask them out there if you want to learn more. Okay, next story up, Max is adding live 24 seven news. Now this isn't necessarily gonna be a live feed from CNN, it's live news in partnership with CNN. So this news section coming to Max from Warner Brothers Discovery will be called CNN Max. It will offer a collection of live and pre-recorded programming from CNN, CNN International, and original programming created just for Max with this. And it will be offered both on-demand content and a 24 seven live feed, much like CNN, how during the day maybe you get news, but then in the evenings you often get talk programming or pre-recorded programming there on that. So keep that in mind. Now this is not CNN, they're not gonna give you a 24 seven feed of CNN, but some programming will come from CNN, CNN International, and be original programming created from CNN staff exclusively for Max on this channel. Now they will also have a huge catalog of on-demand content with over 900 episode of, episodes of new and legacy CNN programming, they say, including programs from Who's Talking to Chris Wallace, and the whole story with Anderson Cooper will be made available on demand here through this. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on that. But tons and tons of content coming to Max on September 27th when the CNN section on Max will be rebranded to CNN Max and have a ton of additional content added to it, including that live news feed. Now, keep in mind, this is 
um, a independent feed, much like how CBS News feed is different from the CBS feed you get uh, on TV. Uh, where maybe the Sunday morning show airs on the CBS News free streaming service, but airs later in the day. You have to watch on the broadcast network to watch it live, for example. We'll have to wait until later this week to learn more, of, or later this month maybe, to learn more about Max and how that all works out with it. All right, let's dive into T-Mobile. Some news, they have a lot there. T-Mobile's 5G home internet is about to become a lot better. They're going to be releasing a new modem probably next week. The, the mobile report spotted this in FCC filing, which included a full manual for the new modem and a look at it. It tells us that they expect the um, release of this modem to be next week, the last week of September 2023, depending on when you're watching this, uh, or, or August 2023. I was just talking about September and I tripped myself up. But this will be a new modem, which should be significantly better at giving your internet a few things. It has the option for an external antenna, so you can um, get a bigger antenna connected here for better reception and weak reception areas. It has more bands and width it can take advantage of for more spectrum, which means it'll be able to find an area that's not as crowded and take advantage of more internet options to give you faster internet speeds. And reportedly, we'll also have a stand to help you mount it by a window. Always best to put these kind of things by a window for best reception. Now with this, it'll be very interesting to see how it plays out. There is a second modem also coming that they believe will be coming in October according to FCC filings, but T-Mobile 5G home internet with this new modem should be significantly better, better internet speeds, better Wi-Fi coverage, and better um, antenna reception there with the option for an external antenna with it. So we'll keep a close eye on that. All right, let's keep moving along to some bad T-Mobile news. They're gonna be cutting 500 jobs from their US workforce and claiming $450 million tax write-off. Now, interesting wording on this memo that Reuters got their hands on. Cutting jobs could mean that they intend to just have a bunch of jobs that are open and not fill. This will be coming from their technology departments and their corporate offices. They don't intend to reportedly to become cutting staff from customer service or the storefronts. Instead, they'll be cutting staff from corporate level and technology level staffing jobs. Maybe it's like Disney. Disney kind of did this where they, hey, we have about 2,000 open jobs right now. We're just not going to fill them. And then we're going to do the rest of our cuts from the staff. They say cuts will be happening over the next um, five weeks from the time I'm recording this. I'm very sad. I hate to see that. They joined Verizon, AT&T in cutting it. Well, AT&T has cut it. Verizon, I think, has warned cut, um, employees that they may do cuts. I don't know if they actually have. Other tech giants like Amazon, Google, Facebook, and more have all cut staff, including Roku. So, unfortunately, it's just kind of where we are. Inflation and other costs are taking a hard hit on companies as they look for ways to save money. All right, Walmart, next story up, has announced a partnership with Google to start drone deliveries, and they're going to try to deliver products within 30 minutes of you order it via drone in select areas to start with in Texas, and then rolling it out from there. Now, Google will do the technology in the drones. Walmart will use their distribution centers to fill the drones and deliver products directly to your home in just 30 minutes. We'll see how it all plays out. But Walmart is working very hard to beat Amazon by being even faster. They want to use the fact that they have stores all over the country and distribution centers all over the country, very close to people. In this case, they use still drone delivery to get it there even faster than to use regular card delivery. We'll keep an eye on this, but it's an interesting battle. You know, Walmart really wants the core cutters. They have um, Walmart Plus subscribers get P uh, Paramount Plus and Pluto TV ad free and select content. And Amazon, of course, wants those same customers. They're battling it out. It'll be interesting to see who wins with that. But 30-minute delivery coming to Walmart Plus or Walmart customers starting in Texas, rolling out from there. All right, last story up of the day. AT&T has filed a complaint with, with the Bureau, uh, a national uh, Better Business Bureau of Natural Programs, um, released a statement that AT&T filed a complaint that T-Mobile is advertising MLB on them through um, T-Mobile Tuesdays when they're not offering it and they want them to stop claiming that. So T-Mobile has a partnership with the MLB to offer um, MLB.TV to offer out-of-market games only. It's part of the complaint. It's not in-market games. And they have a deal to do that through 2028. Now with that though, you only get a limited amount of time to sign up. If you didn't sign up in that time, you're out of luck. And that's where T-Mobile is being accused of false advertising because they're advertising it as available now when you can't get it for the rest of the season. Well, can you leave me a comment? Is it still open? I know they, I thought they reopened it, but they already closed it again. Leave me a comment and let me know. But AT&T filed a complaint and this non-binding um, uh, group here can't force them to do this, but is recommending T-Mobile stop advertising themselves as offering 
free MLB.TV. Let me know what you think of that. Well, hey, that's it for today. I may not be here Monday. I have some travel to do. I should be home. I may not. So if I'm not here on Monday, I'll have a special video Monday, but I'll definitely be back on Tuesday. Thank you so much for everybody for your support. I really do appreciate it. My voice is going, so we're going to call this. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.